Be like, damn, slow down. I know you see a cleaner just to her crown. She been knocked down, but she never stayed down. She been living life like it's her right ground. And they be like, damn, slow down. They can get just, she be moving too. 31-year-old trans woman Elise Mallory was reported missing March the 11th by her sister after her sister had not heard from her in over two days. On March the 22nd, her car was found in a parking lot near her apartment in Evanston. And then March 24th, the unspeakable happened. Her body was pulled from Lake Michigan near Garden Park, just a few blocks away from her home. Now, her cause of death has not been determined and it is currently under investigation. Elise Mallory was a vital activist in her community for transgender rights. Her community is currently aching and hoping that they get answers soon. While her family and friends are still asking for answers and are currently mourning, they still want us to know just how important Elise Mallory was and how they are going to stop at nothing to continue her message and her legacy. On the screen here, you see that her shirt says, you deserve more than survival. Elise lived by that. She was, like I said, a vital piece to the community and the message. She wanted trans women and men to have the rights, the freedom, the safety, the security that everyone should be granted. Now, if you guys did not know, the reason why I wanted to bring awareness to this story is because trans women and men have a very high, high, when I say high, crime rate. The the statistics show that LGBT um, population is disproportionately affected by hate crimes and those against transgender individuals are especially violent. Given the considerable underreporting of these crimes, better insight into victimization experiences and reasons for underreporting is necessary to improve the safety of the transgender community and secure necessary services for these victims. This is what Elise Mallory was fighting for. This is what her and people like her, individuals like her, want to see change because there is no safety for them. There is no one advocating for them besides them. And then on top of it, some people are so scared that they're not even reporting what is happening to them. And they should. They should get the right to justice. So although we are not sure what happened to Elise, we just want to continue to further her message and I wanted to be a part of that and giving information that is vital. There was a vigil held for Elise Mallory and she was described as loving. She was described as, you know, giving. She was described as someone that was going to be missed dearly and a lot of people came out. They traveled far and near to come see her and say their final goodbyes. Now, at least 45 transgender men and women were killed during 2021, and most of those killed were black. 